Hi, this is Rob. I'm going to show you how to make a video slideshow using Google Photos. To make a slideshow using Google Photos, Google Photos calls this a Google Photos movie. You need the Google Photos app on an iPhone or iPad or one of these Android smart devices. I'll be using the Nexus 4 Android phone to make my Google Photos movie. At this time, you cannot use the Google Photos desktop to make the video slideshow, but I do use the Google Photos desktop to select the photos I want to use and make an album with those photos. First, I go to my Google Photos desktop. To the left, I press this icon. Then I choose Albums. I always organize my photos into albums. This makes it a little easier to make a Google Photos movie. You do not need to make a special album for your slideshow movie, but I find that it helps. And you do not need to use the desktop to make your album. You can use the Google Photos app on your smart device. I try to rearrange the order of the photos in the album using the desktop Google Photos to the order I want my photos to be displayed in, the, in my slideshow. But when I started making the slideshow movie on the Google Photos app on my Android device, the photos were displayed in the original order. So if you want to change the order of the slides in your movie, you will need to do that in the app. I will show you how to change the order of the photos that appear in the slideshow using the app. There's a maximum number of photos that you can use to make a slideshow. That maximum is 50 photos. You can have more than 50 photos in the album, but Google Photo Movie uses the first 50 photos only to make the slideshow. Okay, I'm now going to go to my Android smart device. You need to have Google Photos on your smart device. Open up the Google Photos app. I'm going to open up my albums down here. Go to the album you want to make the movie with. I'm going to use this album, Jacksonville Beach, Florida. Tap and hold a photo in the album. I'm going to tap and hold this top photo. Now you see a check mark in the upper left corner of the photo. And the rest of the photos will have a circle in the upper left co corner until you select that photo. In the upper left as you select photos it keeps count of the number of photos selected. Now I will select the rest of the photos I want to use in the movie. Remember there is a 50 photo limit to make a Google Photos movie. I have 52 photos in this album. I'm tapping on each photo that I want in the Google Photos video slideshow movie. When you're finished selecting the photos you want to use in the slideshow, click on this plus sign up top. This window appears. Tap on the movie icon here. The app starts to make the video slideshow right away with a random theme and with random theme music. I will show you how to change the theme and the theme music. First I will give an overall brief on all the icons on this part of the app. This icon is where we change the theme of the slideshows. The different themes have different filters and different shapes and movement of the photos. This icon allows you to change the music of the slideshow. This icon is where you can change the order of the photos, delete a photo from a slideshow, or add a new photo to the slideshow. This is where you can title your slideshow. I do not like to use this because it places this title on the first two photos of the slideshow. Let's take a closer look at the slideshow themes. Tap on this icon. The themes appear below. Currently our slideshow is using the theme called Memories. There are 17 themes and at the end of this YouTube video I'll show you a quick sample of each of the 17 different themes. The theme I like to use most is the first one called Natural. The natural theme does not apply any filter effects to the photos. As you choose a theme the app will quickly use that theme so that you can immediately see the effects of that theme. I'll tap on this check mark to confirm this natural theme and to exit the theme menu. Let's tap on the music icon here. You can use the music that is on your device or you can use royalty free theme music by Google Photos. I will select the theme music. The music is divided into four categories, electronic, reflective, rockin', and upbeat. Choose what you want 
and it starts playing so that you can hear the music. I'm going to go to this film strip icon. This is where we can edit the slides. You can move to any slide you want by dragging the slides with your finger. To reorder a slide, you press and hold the slide you want to move until you see the slide do this. Then drag the slide to the position where you want it. If you want to add a slide that you initially did not include, tap this plus icon here. It will bring you back to your Google Photos. It will not bring you back to the album, but it brings you to your main photo stream. Then you can navigate and choose the photo you want to add to the slideshow. If you want to delete a photo from your slideshow, you select the photo and press this trash icon. To undo the delete, tap the undo. To exit this menu item without having your changes saved, tap this X. To exit this menu item with having your changes saved, tap this check mark. I will save my changes. If you're happy with the slideshow, export it to your Google Photos by tapping this icon and selecting Export Video. This will save your video to Google Photos. At the end of the export, you may see this video playback error message. But I've noticed that my videos have successfully exported to Google Photos despite this message. You can also share your video by tapping this icon. You can share to a variety of platforms. Now we'll show a small sample of each of the 17 different themes. Which theme do you think you will use the most? Please leave a comment below. Okay, that is it. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to this channel.